Hello and welcome back to Planning with Jamie. Today I am taking you along as I do my February 14th through the 20th fitness planner. So for this week we are going to be using just a couple of different books. One is my fitness happy planner sticker book and I end up using this all the time and then I get this new go the distance happy planner sticker book from Joanne's this last week and these stickers are definitely bigger than what I thought they would be but they're exciting and I kind of like this big thing instead of all these small quotes for a change. So I ended up finding this sweat and now shine later quote and I thought it was going to be perfect to split between the two pages so I just cut it in half and here I'm just sticking it down and getting it to fit perfectly. When I want a quote to really pop I end up doing white out for the lines that are underneath it and that way your focus is not on the lines it's just specifically on that quote. Next, I looked back in the Go the Distance sticker book and I found this Get Busy and I found that it actually matched perfectly with the Sweat Now Shine Later. So I decided to take up a big portion of this side part with the Get Busy sticker. Then I wanted to put my workout stickers on every single day that I expect myself to work out and that way it holds me a little bit more accountable because I don't want to waste stickers. So these stickers say workout log and they have a place for what the activity is, how much time, and then there's an open space and usually in that space I end up logging how many calories I burnt during that activity. I also want to walk a few times and force myself to get on my treadmill. Right now it's just too cold outside to be taking walks and as stuff is melting like all our snow or we're getting rain, it's just kind of a sloshy mess and so those walk stickers are to force myself to get my booty on the treadmill and then I have my Monday weigh-in that I do every single week and so I didn't want to forget the little scale there and then always at the end of the week somewhere on the weekend I put a result category so I put my total calories that I've ingested for the week the total calories I've burned from activity and then I've also recently started putting like total calories burned just through like 
living and breathing. And then I also have a steps counter that totals up how much I have done for the whole entire week. And so my goal is to always like be about the same or more than the previous week. So I do like putting my steps for every single day over here on the left hand side. And so I put a little sticker up there so that I don't forget that that's where I want it to be. I'm just counting to make sure that I have a a line for every single day of the week and I'm just going to write in Monday through Sunday so that it's all ready for me to write in what my step count is for each day. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain, some things are not the same as they were a year ago, but all will be okay, I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays, way back a year ago I've changed for the better this time I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright And for the first time in a long time I'm alright I've seen a lot of change been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same As they were a year ago But all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago Back a year ago I find the easiest way to end up placing these is to use my tweezers. I think these tweezers came with my Cricut Explore Air 2 and they're perfect because they're angled off to the side so I can really see what I'm doing with these small stickers. Um, so I just place a sticker to represent breakfast, lunch, and supper. I don't put any snack ones because I'm just not a snacky person. If I do ever have a snack, I just kind of write it below usually where supper goes or wherever I end up having a little bit of space and so we're just going to put all these bullets down to represent each meal. All right, here's my completed spread for fitness for February 14th through the 20th. I try to get these done ahead of time, like have a week or two already completed for myself. So it's sitting there and it's ready for me to hold myself accountable and write in all the data that I love to collect. And that way I know that I have to pay attention to what I'm doing. I also track all my calories and my macros in my fitness pal app. And that way too, I can look back at it if I need to. I really appreciate you guys watching my video please make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you find any motivation from it also make sure that red subscribe button is pushed because i have so much more great content coming for you guys thanks